you've got your song in your Audacity project, uh, there's a couple of things that we notice right off the bat. The Based on the size of the waveforms and how full it looks, you can kind of see the loudest parts of the song. For example, uh, this part of the song looks much louder than, say, the beginning of the song. Uh, and we also notice that the song doesn't go the full length of our podcast. So we are going to fix a few of those things. So the first thing we're going to do is we want the size of our waveform to be close to the same size as our audio. Uh, we may still have to adjust the volume some after that, but a quick way to do that is using the Amplify tool once again, but kind of for the opposite effect. So we can decrease our amplification by negative 10 and see that that shrinks down the size of our song so it's closer in size to what we see up here. So once we've done that, we can copy our track. So if we highlight the entire track and press Control C, we can create a new track and we're going to add a stereo track. Now you can see that the track that we've added in here has, looks like it has two tracks that are part of the same track here, uh, as opposed to this one. Now remember we record our voices in mono, but our music is in stereo. So we've placed this second track down here for more music. And generally, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so you can see closer to the end of the song. Uh, generally, when we are trying to make a song go longer, uh, we're going to overlap the end of one song with the beginning of the same song again, just to make it seem like it's a longer so song. Uh, so we're going to overlap those. So I'm going to start this about five seconds. So see my song ends right here. So I'm going to start it about five seconds before that song ends. Now, just because I've put it here doesn't mean that this is going to sound nice. If I play this... Remember, here at Bingham, we focus on attendance at... It doesn't necessarily sound the best. So what I can do is highlight the beginning of this song and drag my cursor up so I'm highlighting this part as well making sure I've just highlighted these two tracks and not this track up here. So with these two tracks, I can come up to Effect, and then I'm going to come down to Crossfade Tracks. And what that does is it, if I leave the settings just as they are with constant gain and we're not going to change the curve, we can see that that gives us a nice smooth transition between the two. It fades out this track and it fades in this track. So let's mute this track for just a moment and we can hear that this has a bit of a smoother transition now. And there my song starts off again. So now I have a huge stretch of audio, uh, but I don't really need it to go that long. We can see that the end of my track or the end of where I want my podcast to be is about here. So I can come match that up and simply highlight that portion of the track that I don't want and delete it, okay? So that leaves me with an odd little bit of song here at the end. So I can come and fade out. So by highlighting the last portion of my song here, about the last five seconds, and I'll go to effect and fade out. So now the end. On Perseverance. Remember, here at Bingham, we focus on attendance, attitude, and achievement. And, and that song has that nice transition there. And it fades out at the end. 